We decided to go to Gyukaku, which is like one of those places where there's like a grill right here. And then they kind of bring you out like a bunch of different like cool meats and stuff. And like it's like a whole like full course meal sort of thing. And then they even bring you like s'mores at the end. So we thought that'd be fun. We already just placed our order for our drinkies. But yeah, I think we're going to get kind of like the same one that we did last time with all that good stuff because it was so freaking good. So super excited. Yay! All right, y'all, our drinkies have arrived. Cheers to love and money. Nico got this whiskey drink and I got this very tropical pina colada-esque drink. One of the first courses is this miso soup, which is always a treat. They also give you a big bowl of salted edamame, which I always love because it's just fun to eat edamame anyway. And then they also give you karage, which I also love. So you really can't go wrong with this like multi-course meal situation. Next they give you this little, I guess they call it a sushi, but it's literally like steak on top of rice basically, like a really thin little one. Um, so that's fun, just an extra little added bonus treat. And then they give you this big salad to share. And let me tell you, the salad is literally so delicious. Like just looking at it right now makes me want it like so freaking bad. I wish I could just walk into like a store and buy this salad every day, honestly. Then they bring you this rice that you can kind of like upgrade and add um, like bulgogi beef to. So I, I believe that's what we did, but yeah, it's like also delicious. And then you can mix all the other meats that you have during the five course meal or whatever it is. I think it's even more than five courses, honestly, but I don't even remember at this point. But basically you can mix all of these with your rice after you're done with them. And you get so many different kinds that I could never even begin to tell you what they all were. But it's just really fun to kind of like take turns making them and it's like just so easy and it's cool that it's really like engaging. So I like coming here every once in a while. It kind of feels like we're, you know, somewhere else doing something kind of different and fun. Cheers to love and money again. I believe mine was kind of like a lychee martini type margarita drink, something like that. And then Nico got another whiskey drink of some sort. They were super delicious and really cute too. Just like Nico. <laughs> They even gave Nico this little birthday treat because I told them it was his birthday. So that looked super delicious. It has a little like green tea flavored ice cream scoop. And then it came with a little s'more situation. 
which a s'more situation is also just part of the course meal. So we will also be getting more of those to make and share, which is always fun. Look how cute. They just give you everything you need to roast your little marshmallow over the fire, which is kind of challenging to get like the right amount of burntness, but um, Nico really perfected his and then he kind of helped me do mine. So it was good. Definitely a super like fun place to go, whether you're like on a date or yeah, for a special occasion of any sort. Always a good time to come here. And then after we were done eating at Gyukaku, we decided to go to Moxie, the little hotel bar in Uptown. And Nico got a free drink because I told them it was his birthday. So we had that and then we took some more pictures in the photo booth. Which this one, it literally never tells you when it's going to begin. So the first picture always is just tragic. But then we try to just like make sure the next ones turn out good and this time they pretty much did. Like I'm really happy with it. I just literally chopped off the last picture when we got home and I'm gonna hang it on the fridge. <laughs> They're cute. Super fun and relaxing day overall. Hello my loves, it is 420 today, hence the weed kini and weed leaf earrings. I had to be on theme, oh and the makeup, I forgot about that too. Had to be on theme because obviously, but also I was a part of a 420 raid train today on Whatnot um, that Becca Vicious set up. So big shout out to her for asking me to be a part of it because if there's one thing your girl loves, it's a good theme. So I just finished up with that a couple hours ago already now and then I I watched everybody else's part of the raid train and I had a couple like super cute themed giveaways that I did and I also did some rapid fire like sales during my portion which it was only 15 minutes so I did somehow manage to sell quite a few items I made like 60 bucks in that 15 minutes which is awesome like more than I expected for sure so that was exciting and I'm gonna pack those up really soon but I wanted to kind of show you guys what it was before I do that but yeah basically I loaded my store with all green items and kind of like trippy tie-dye kind of stuff and then I started everything at two or four dollars because again gotta be on theme and everything was either those color schemes or else I found the literal jackpot on like kawaii stationery yesterday at the bins so some of them were like snack kind of themed so i was like oh my god i should put some of those in the show because then i can just say that they're like munchies themed so that was really fun and cute and yeah i'm like super excited to show you guys some of the stuff that i found at the bins yesterday because it's so much good stuff that as much as i would love to do like a whole sit down haul and show you guys everything there's just no way in hell that I could. It would take for freaking ever. So I'm just gonna show you guys some highlights in this vlog. And I might show you guys also some highlights of some stuff that I found when I went and met up with my parents a couple days ago because I found some super good stuff at the racks too. And a lot of those items I decided to put on my Depop because I've been neglecting my Depop like hardcore lately but a lot of these items i paid up a little bit more for obviously they weren't by the pound so i was like okay these are so cute that i should probably just put them on my page and like show my damn page some love so that's what i am doing but yeah it's been a really fun day super super fun i'm gonna start doing some laundry as well but yeah this is literally what i'm dealing with right now um this is like a clothes pile this is a pile of all literally washy like what the f like so much washy, I can't even believe it. And then this pile, you guys. And yes, I am gonna show you more close-ups of what some of this stuff actually is, but this is insane. This is my freaking dining room right now, you guys. I have to get this cleaned up by the end of the day. And I started already too. This is all stickers. This entire box is all stickers. The camera doesn't even know what to focus on because there's so many stickers. Yeah, it's freaking insane, you guys. Like, I'm trying to put, I'm trying to organize everything so I can do like mystery packs on whatnot. 
Like, look how freaking cute this is, you guys. This is just one of many examples, like a little Rilakkuma letter set and like little Rilakkuma paper clip thingy. I found so many of these Hello Kitty Valentine boxes and they come with stickers. But yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little box and obviously you can use it for more than just Valentines. Like they're just fun and collectible little boxes. But yeah, it's like freaking insane, you guys. Like what a, what a crazy time. <laughs> and these washies are also cool too. Like not every single one is like amazing, but like some of them are really cool. Like look at this one, Rilakkuma again. Um, there's some of like these bigger kind of ones like this. Hi Michi, hi, hi. But yeah, there's like a bunch of Hello Kitty ones. So I think what I'm gonna do, oh my God, look at this one, you guys, focus. Oh my God. I think what I'm gonna do is on whatnot, I'm gonna do like, in my buy it now section where you can just like get a mystery pack of like 10 of them for a set price because i need to make sure i get rid of these like in a timely manner too and i have like literally obviously so many that it's gonna take time but look how cute and cute you guys i can't even talk like what on earth what on earth just freaking amazing you guys oh so cute look at those sparkles yeah um and this is like some of the stuff that I'm planning on listing on Depop soon. Um, yeah, just like crazy, crazy stuff. I have so much stuff to show you guys. I don't even know where to begin. Um, but yeah, that's just a little preview. I'm still like learning how to use this new vlogging camera cause I like never do it by myself. Um, but I'm trying, I'm trying to learn. It's a lot different than filming on my phone. I feel it's like not, but it is so yeah. I'm gonna try to get better at it and like do it more when I'm by myself. Cause literally Miko just went to work and I was like telling him how scared I was to like use the camera by myself. And it's not that scary, but like, I don't know. I'm just not used to it. So I gotta practice, but yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw some laundry in and I'll be right back. Okay, laundry is in the washer. All of the like black and kind of like darker colored things that I got yesterday that are washable. I always like to, like to wash that stuff before I have a show, um, which my next show is in a couple days. So at least I have a little extra time to get it clean. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the stuff that I gave away and sold earlier today. So the first, like the main giveaway that I did today that was for anybody who follows me is I actually bought this especially for today. It's very obviously a Powerpuff Girl trinket tray as we were all calling it during the live today. And I thought it would be fun to get one incense for each Powerpuff Girl. So I thought these were like the flavors that seemed the best flavors, scents, whatever. But yeah, I, I love incense and I feel like it's like a stoner, you know, item. So I figured that was a cute thing to give away. So congrats to the person who won that stuff super lucky. I also did this as a buyer appreciation giveaway, the vampire blood incense, which these incenses, I just went to my local smoke shop and bought um, a couple days ago. And then I also did a munchies giveaway bundle, which is all this stuff here. This one is like a Mickey Mouse kind of like snack washi tape. Yeah, it's got like little pretzels and cupcakes and stuff on it. So I thought that was perfect. This one is donut themed. And this one is like candy and like bubble gum and stuff like that. This is like design paper and it's like, yeah, like chocolates and like snacks and stuff. So somebody won all of that stuff. So congratulations to them. And I also am going to give every single person that bought from me today during my portion, a sheet of stickers that are munchy themed. So these are just some of the examples, but aren't these freaking cute? Everybody who bought something from me is gonna get one whole entire sheet. So I'm really excited to make these packages. They're gonna be so freaking cute. I don't know if I showed you guys either, but I got new poly mailers and they're hot pink and black cheetah prints. I'm obsessed, um, so freaking cute. But yeah, here's some of the other stuff I sold. Like I said, I was trying to stick with the green theme or munchies, so this one was green. It's a little Totoro notepad set. You kind of like open it up and it's got like all these different notepads in it. So I thought that was really freaking cute. 
and kind of fit the theme. So somebody did buy this today. And I also sold these, which this is all stuff. This stuff on top here, I found at the bins yesterday and it was just freaking crazy. But yeah, these are scented like page tabs and they are little sweets. So somebody bought that. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a Hello Kitty letter set, you guys. And it says like something about biscuits on it. It's brand new and it's so freaking cute. So I started this at $4 and I think it got bid up to like seven or eight. So that's really exciting. And I also sold this one, which was very on theme, I thought. It's got like the pretzels and the cookies. And basically what this is, is it's lined paper and that's like what's on the back of it. So you can use both sides if you want. But yeah, that's the stuff I sold so far from the stationary stuff that I got yesterday. But I also found these at the bins yesterday. And since they're green, I decided to put them in this show. They are from Anthropology, and they're a size small. They were crushed velvet, kind of like jogger pants. So I started these at $4 and those sold. I also got this crushed velvet maxi dress which is so freaking gorgeous and this one sold i think it ended up selling for like 13 bucks um but just like super freaking pretty it's like old morona from target and then actually anna bought this one from me it's a trippy little smiley face cozy hoodie i thought this was very on brand for 420 so thank you anna for coming and hanging out and supporting it's been so fun to see anna going live now so if you guys aren't following anna yet on whatnot hers is called rave cycle our collab show was so fun that i think she decided to take the leap and become a seller so super happy because i now i get to watch her shows and she gets to watch mine and it's just like super fun but yeah these are hot kiss like y2k camo joggers these sold today super freaking cute and that was all stuff that i got yesterday so that was new stuff and these other two items that i sold i sold for two dollars each and these were just kind of things that i have had in my depop like a little too long this one's also a maxi dress but yeah i was kind of just trying to get rid of those so i was like okay i'll do two dollars on those and that is awesome and then actually this sold on depop earlier today which it's like a little air apostle henley that i cropped and it is so freaking flattering and i just love the letters so much much like those little velvet puff letters so freaking cute so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and pack all this stuff up and kind of just try to like get ahead of the game a little bit so yeah let's pack one together why not y'all i'm done packing up all my packages and i am like so caffeinated right now and just like dehydrated and like growing a small headache because i haven't been drinking enough water today but i finally have sorted through most of this like stationary stuff and it's really crazy because basically i assumed when we were finding all this stuff that it had to have come from like a store that like somebody like closed their store and like donated all this stock. I was like, there's no way a person could have had all of this unused stuff. But I definitely am learning that it did come from a person. <laughs> now that I have made it through almost this entire stack of stuff, I found some like pen pal messages from like somebody named Sandy to um, someone who lives in Japan. And then there's like a note from like Jenny to Sandy. I'll show you guys, but yeah, basically um, it's definitely from a person. So I found this, which is like really cute, honestly. Um, <laughs> and this Instagram is no longer a thing. I tried, trust me, I tried to look it up. But yeah, somebody from Soya, or I mean somebody named Soya who lives in Japan, I guess, was doing like little snail mail back and forth with this person. And I also found this birthday card. So, yeah, look at this one. Now my only concern <laughs> is that with all this really cool stuff um, that isn't even used, I hope this person didn't, like, die. Like, you know what I mean? Or, like, had some sort of mental breakdown that, like, caused them to no longer enjoy cute things. Like, I can't imagine, you know what I mean? So, uh, hopefully they're okay. Hopefully Sandy is okay. This is, I'm, I'm assuming that Sandy is the one who donated all this stuff. But now that I've mostly made it through everything, I'm gonna show you guys just some like little 
snippets of what's here. These are some like little cases. This is Valentine's. These are Valentine's that are like out of the box. Uh, this is just like a book. I thought it was a coloring book, but it's like a storybook. I literally found like, I don't know, like seven of these. So I already showed you guys those. Um, yeah, also there's this mug that says dog person on the handle with a bunch of dogs. I'm a dog person. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Um, this is just like a little vintage glass. And then there's just like random crafting supplies like this ribbon. This is like a cat bottle opener thing. There's some stamps. This one is a Pusheen one. And it says, yay, happy mail is here. Hello. There we go. Um, there's like a bunch of little toys. These are Karopi mints from 2013, you guys. Look at that. I wonder if they're like good still. <laughs> Cause they're probably pumped full of chemicals. Oh yeah, look at that. Just pumped full. <laughs> uh, this is like a Hello Kitty luggage tag. Kinda wanna try this tea. What do you guys think, should I? Should I see what it's like? It's got the instructions, it just doesn't have an expiration date. But that note that um, was written was written in 2018, turning into 2019. So, I mean, it can't be horribly old. Uh, yeah, anyway, I found this stocking that I had to get for no good reason. This is like Pusheen confetti, or not confetti, what's it called? It's like a streamer thing. It's like you hang it up. I don't even know what this is. This is from a different bin. No, no idea what this is. I'm gonna have to look it up and probably like sell it on Mercari. Um, there was so many little Tokidoki figurines. And there's some like little poster things. I'm really excited about this Harajuku Lovers tin. This is really freaking cute. There were some pens. This used to have like bubbles in it. It's really cute. A little more Tokidoki. It's like a pirate Hello Kitty. Some like weird crafting lace. There's some more pens. These ones are Hello Kitty. So cute. This one is really cool. This pen. It's like brand new in the packaging still. That's why I'm like, what the hell? This little Tokidoki Donatella spaceship thingy. Um, these are pretty fun. They're like little Halloween pom pom purin. There's another one somewhere too. Another Tokidoki. I'm gonna try to show off as much as I can, but I hope you guys understand. I couldn't possibly show all of this off in a haul the way we usually do. Cause it would literally take hours. And I know some of you would be okay with that. But when you think about like how long it takes to edit a video that long, it's really not okay. <laughs> because honestly, I'm really sad that we're so busy right now. Look at this thing. We're so busy right now that we can't even get a video out one a week. And like, that makes me really bummed out. So in order to try to get more videos out, look at this. <laughs> Sorry, so distracted. This is so freaking cute. My God. Um, but yeah, anyway, in order to get as many videos out as possible, there's no way. And like, I prefer making videos this style. So I hope you guys don't mind. Look at this Oogie Boogie pin. This little metal pin. This little cutie. Found some of these Beanie Babies still in the bag. Love that. Um, printer ink. <laughs> I don't think this is the type of printer we even have. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. There's some like little Winnie the Pooh, like, oh my God, I can't talk. Winnie the Pooh towels. Some like paint by number crap. Pushing sewing stitch kit thing. Hello Kitty Kleenex sheet mask. Elmo luggage tag or something. This little stuffed animal. This one, this is the other one, the Halloween one. Um, and there's like some like notebooks and stuff, more Valentines. Are you guys jealous yet? <laughs> I'm so sorry if you are. Like this does not happen ever at the bins. Like this is not normal. And I haven't even began to show you guys the clothing that I got, which is that pile right there. And the clothing also slays. So yeah, I will show you guys some sneak peeks of that as well. But like, I just can't get over all this cute stuff. Like, I'm just amazed. Here's some more little Tokidoki guys. 
And then we got more of these. There's another tin over here. It's really cute. On this plant hanger too. Um, so basically I made piles of everything. So these ones are bags, which I'm gonna try to show you guys kind of little sneak peeks of what they all look like. Some of them are so freaking cute. I can't even like get over it. And I'm really excited to be able to use some of this stuff in like giveaways for you guys. Um, but yeah, like I'm definitely going to be selling a bunch of this stuff on whatnot. And I'm sure by the time this video comes out, a lot of it will be sold. But there's literally so much. It's crazy. These ones are like envelopes with cards. This one is so funny. Look what it says. Oh my God, wait. It says, have a comforting smell. Now go to see they. <laughs> That's funny cute um but yeah some of these that's just like hard and envelope sets this one is really cool i wish i could like show it properly right now but just bear with me it's got like a flying totoro so cool i just can't believe all this and just like know that like what i got isn't even everything you guys like everybody was grabbing this shit. It was a fucking free for all. There was like two entire massive bins filled with all this stuff. I can't believe it. Like I'm shook to my core. Okay, these ones are like, I think just envelopes. And these ones are sticky notes. This one is really cute. Look at this Halloween one. It says, you lose nothing by knowing. It's really cute. Um, there's some Totoro ones again. Disney, Mickey Mouse, kind of random ones. These are all envelopes, like just blank, like there's no card. And some of them are so fucking cute. Look at this Hello Kitty Burger Shop one. And then these, look at this big stack. These are like design paper. And there's a million of them. It's just insane. There's so many different kinds. So cute. Like, wow. I'm speechless. I am speechless, you guys. I can't even show you everything. These ones are all letter sets. So it's like a whole set, you guys. Like what? Some Hello Kitty ones. It's like envelopes, pom pom. Envelopes, cards. Ah, so cute. I can't believe how many there are. Like I literally cannot. But yeah, this is another reason why like. I'm so glad that I mostly sell on whatnot now because there is no way I'd be able to like sell this to you guys if I had to list it all like on Mercari or Depop. I'd have to do like lots, which wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's like a little more like, I don't know. I would prefer to know exactly what I'm getting, I guess. So like, it's nice that I can just like, oh my God, this one's so cute. I can just like put these in the buy it now section or I can like auction some of them off and I can price them at like, you know, six dollars a piece or something. And then this is just lined paper. Look at this Tokidoki paper. Insane. And I'm assuming this goes with it, but it was separate for some reason. And this is all just like lined paper. And then here's obviously all the washi, which is bonkers. And then this is now the full box of stickers. And this is like a deep box. So that's that. I'm gonna try to show you guys some of this stuff. So I also found this little Hello Kitty plate that's really cute. And I found this pig mug. Look how fucking cute that is. And it's brand new with the tape still on it. And then there's another box of Valentine's here. Also found this mug with a little Nyan cat on it. The lucky cat. More random Hello Kitty toys. Just like little cups. I don't even know what this is like. 
And then this is really cool actually too. It's the burn book from Mean Girls, except it's literally just lined paper, it's blank. It's so cool. And then also this is all just like kawaii paper. It's crazy crazy you guys okay this is a little off topic but this is um some stuff i got at the savers in st cloud recently that i'm hesitant on selling this these wet seal shorts because they're orange which is one of my favorite colors to wear and this bag which has a little peeling going on on the strap which i'm really scared of but the color scheme on this thing is like freaking amazing. Like lime green and silver. Does it get better? I don't think so. And then this one also, it's just like a sporty spice Y2K model off duty dream. So I'm really excited about that. <sighs> just so much cute stuff, you guys. I found really cute like ribbed tank tops that are Y2K. This one has a couple flaws, unfortunately. I also found a bunch of stuff from It's Our Time. Super fun to find. It's a really cute like black long sleeve with a lace trim. Here's another one, It's Our Time. Um, I'm hoping these shorts fit me. They're really cute. Pink and green camo, doesn't get better. Oh yeah, and I found this wallet. That's pretty cute. It's money wallet, wicker trivet. Tons of corsets, Care Bear, Choco Cat hat. This is another mug in a box. Don't ask me why I got this. <laughs> Sometimes I sell baby stuff on Mercari, you guys. And yeah, I just like can't resist certain things. Like look at these little brand new white, not white, baby pink booties. Oh my God, and I didn't even get to show you guys this. It's like a pusheen. Oh my God, I can't get it out of the box right now with one hand, but basically it's a teapot and that's what it looks like. I mean, I guess it's not even technically a teapot, but yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. It has a cover. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was so funny. This is a freaking koozie. Um, I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> I love it so much. I just realized there's still stuff over here that I didn't even know about. Throw this in the, damn it, <laughs> sticker box. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at this one, you guys. Z-R-O. Some old Hollister. Look at that old Hollister tag. Little pink Henley. Another corset. These outrageous jeans. I've never heard of this brand, I don't think. These are crazy, though. Look at this. This. I'm just speechless. South Pole. This dreamy pink and black Playboy Bunny-esque corset. Some lace, this one's really cute. I think this one just has a big peace sign on it. Oh my God, I'm just like exhausted. <laughs> like I'm so caffeinated, but like so just like done dealing with this stuff. <laughs> Cause I've been like listing on Depop and stuff all day yesterday and today too off and on. I hope you guys are enjoying this very haphazard look through of what I got. This one has chains. So cool. Okay, this one I found. Juicy Couture sweatpants. Y'all, no. <laughs> and then this also, which I know people really like these little butterfly tops. It's like super stuck. It's a dress from Deb, old Deb. It's crazy, you guys, I swear to God. So cute, everything, everything so cute. Just grabbing and pulling. Oh, uh, this is that pink one. It's like velour. I thought this was juicy also. Somebody just threw this on my cart. I don't know if it was Nico or one of the bin boys, but I'm pretty sure everybody hooked it up a little bit. Okay, this is my favorite thing, I think. I don't know if it's my actual favorite because it doesn't fit me. <laughs> But somebody freaking passed me these because they weren't their style. She said she's more of a 70s girly. So she asked me if I wanted these and I was like screaming. If these were my size, there's no way I would sell them. But because they're so much bigger than my size, I have to. But luckily I have some other Juicy Couture pants coming in the mail right now. And those ones should fit me. And once I get those, I won't be so upset. Freaking self-esteem, little track jacket. Ugh. 
And this doesn't even include the stuff that I just washed. That's just literally out of the dryer right now. It's just chilling in the kitchen. This little Fredericks of Hollywood garter thing. Like what? What is going on, you guys? What is even going on? Oh my God, this one, the freaking dead stock. Little gothy Lolita corset thingy. Oh my God. And then this is a giant maxi skirt from Miss Me. And it's just gorgeous. It's just crazy, you guys. I can't, I can't explain my joy. It's just crazy. <laughs> this is for a child, but sometimes people do buy child size Hello Kitty from me. It's a robe. And yeah, what it do? <laughs> Wow, I washed all of this stuff right here and it's like Harley. This one's just H&M, but it's cute. Wild Fox. Oh my God, I love this one so much. This one does have a flaw, but it's Y2K Rusty. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this brand. It's very unpopular, but it's so cool. Kind of says it down the side here too. All I have to do is sew up this little flaw right here and I'm gonna do it. Um, this is a Hollister, I think. Little ribbed Y2K tank top. Some of them I had to put inside out to wash them, but this one's like a Fleur de Lis velvet with angel wings on the back. This one is a Charlotte Russe. Some chains, little green skirt. This is one of my favorite things I found also. This one I actually found. If I could get a goddamn hold on it. it says I like it dirty. And look at this. So cool. Let's see what else do we got. More Harley. This is old exhilaration. It's like a little black boho dress with beads. This one is really cool from P.O.L. It's like a hoodie. Oh, this stuff is so good that I literally just like don't even know if I want to sell some of it on whatnot. I'm gonna have to start some of it higher because otherwise like this stuff is great for Depop. It's like I don't want to like completely stop using Depop, you know, so I try to put on there my favorite things. This one's inside out, but it's really cute. Yeah, just like the stuff like a lot of it is just like exactly what it does well on Depop. So some little skull lounge pants. And the reason that I also like want to list some of this on Depop and just not even do whatnot is because it fits my theme so much. Like I don't want to like, I don't want to be listing things on Depop that don't fit my curated theme, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, it's like pretty freaking dope, you guys. And also I spent $200, which is a record. That's the most I have ever spent at the bins. Which makes sense because all that stationary stuff is pretty heavy, honestly. Like, I'm sure that stuff weighed quite a bit. Oh my god, I have so much more cleaning to do now. <laughs> I can't believe this is my life. I mean, this is like as bad as it's ever been in here. <laughs> it doesn't usually look like this, I promise. But literally, I don't even care if y'all judge because... You know, when you're a reseller, you just do your best. You just do your best. It's kind of always a little bit of a show, but every once in a while it looks really good. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot to show you guys this belt. Look at this thing. Insane. Yep. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go for now because I have so much to do. The lighting's going bonkers in here. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hello angels, I got a haircut and no, it's not this short. I have a ponytail in right now, but I did change it up obviously. And I'm really excited about it because I've been too nervous to really do much to my hair for like ever now. So basically when we first added the stripes to my hair, I wasn't really sure how much of a commitment I wanted it to be. So we've just put it in my extensions. And now like I've had it for so many months that I've realized that I definitely like having the brown in my hair. So it was kind of like getting to the point where there was too much blonde and it was kind of covering a lot of it. So this time I was like, let's add more stripes. So it's like even stripier than ever. And now I have like black tips again, which is awesome. I don't know if you guys can see, but I also added some black to my real hair right down here. Cause that part of my hair always gets really like bronze and like gross, like especially in the summertime. Hi Michi. It always gets like, come here, come here. Hi Michi. 
think she's here to say hello. <laughs> in the summertime, it always gets really like greasy and slimy in the back of my neck and that hair just like is permanently discolored and it sucks so bad. So I decided to dye it dark brown. Um, it's gonna fade a little bit. And yeah, we like um, kind of gave me almost like a scene shag basically. Cause I told her that I wanted a little bit of a top heavy look where I can like braid my like striped hair and I can have like two kind of like skinny little braids and then I can like fluff up my blonde. So I'm pretty excited about it because I haven't really switched up my hair like that drastically like in a very long time. And so yeah, we did that yesterday. Um, that was super great. Amberly killed it. I also did my nails and I decided to go for this machine gun dollar sign look, which I'm really liking. I still have my makeup doing nails and my texting nails that I leave short, which allow me to do everything, <laughs> but I'm feeling good. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the weather, like lately is still so disgusting that I can't wear what I actually wanna wear. I have to like layer up with all this crap. Um, but basically I'm wearing this Slipknot shirt today and the neckline is like really long. So I was like, I need a necklace. This was the only necklace that like was gold and matched it kind of. And then I threw on this peasant skirt to give it less of a goth vibe. And then I had to put a cardigan on because it's freezing outside. So I'm wearing this um, cardigan by P.O.L. And my teddy bear earrings, yay. Um, but yeah, basically I have to go to work in like 30 minutes and I have some packages I need to open. Um, some of them are stuff that I bought online for myself. And some of them I'm pretty sure are early birthday presents from Mary. So we're gonna open all those really quick. Um, this first one is from Whatnot and it came from Dizzy Lizzy shop. And this I've been very excited for. It's like two pairs of Juicy Couture sweatpants and like a skirt. So here is first glance and oh yeah, and I got shorts too. I totally forgot at this point how long it's been. Oh my God. Look how cute these are. Little Juicy Couture hot pink shorts. So freaking cute, obsessed. And then I also got the sweatpants with Juicy on the butt. And these are more modern, like it's like the newer Juicy Couture, but like these still go for like a lot of money. I got these for $25 and I think the shorts were 20. And I got this as well. This is so cute. Oh my God, this is even cuter in person. I thought this was gonna be great for summer. Um, it's like definitely a vibe. Like I, I would even like possibly wear this with like what I'm wearing now. Cause it's just like bringing a different vibe to the outfit. Super excited about that. And last but not least i also got these juicy pants <laughs> and these ones just have like butt pockets um but yeah these are also the newer kind of juicy couture and i think these were also 20 bucks what a glorious package absolutely love and what a great deal this stuff all is like the brightest shade of pink i absolutely love it yay okay so this one is actually a bikini top that goes with some bottoms that I just bought on eBay and I'm really excited to have the full set. Me and Nico are going back to Vegas on June 6th and I'm really excited. We have lots of plans for when we go and this is gonna be my bikini that I wear when we're at the pool. Isn't it freaking cute? Little sinful zebra print moment. Foil and it's like pink again. <laughs> it's got these little studs. So cute. Um, let me show you guys, I got the bottoms too. See, I have the matching bottoms and they're also brand new with tags. So I think for the set together, like I bought them separately, but it was probably like, it was like 50 bucks for the set. So like not bad at all. I love the rhinestones on the sinful. Oh my God, so freaking cute. I'm really excited about that. Oh my God, that bikini set's gonna like match my nails perfectly. If like, if I can keep my nails like this for when it's time. Ah! Okay, yeah, I think both of these are from Mary. So thank you, Mary. I'm really excited to see what's inside. Um, thank you for thinking of me always. Like it seriously is just the sweetest. Like you really don't have to. Nobody has to buy me anything ever. Like, but it's like such a like blessing that you guys do think of me and want to send me stuff because it really like makes my day. Like it's just so sweet. And I get so excited every time. <gasps> Here's like what's going on inside the box so far. Oh my god, the whisk! Oh my god, the frother! Oh my god, yay! I literally don't know why I still don't have one of these, but I'm so excited that I do now. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fun. I feel like everybody has one of these but me, and it's pink, so that's super exciting. Oh my god, thank you, Mary. I'm so excited. Now I can like froth up my matcha lattes and like coffee and stuff. Michi has to come investigate again now. Come on, come on. Hi, Michi. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, look. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Mary. I'm so excited. You are the best. Now let's see what this one is. I feel like I kind of know what it is just by feeling it, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh my God, yes. Mary, yes, yes, yes. This is like literally the missing link in my pink kitchen. Like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> In pink cutting board. Dude, I literally, I do not have a cutting board. Like I literally use a cheese board to cut things on. It's like granite or whatever. Not even granite, it's like marble. It's like a marble cheese board from TJ Maxx that I got in the clearance section like a thousand years ago. So this is like super exciting, honestly. And again, it matches everything. I'm so excited. Ah, yay. Like this is like actually what I need, so. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Mary. Oh my God, you are the absolute sweetest. You just continue to spoil us over and over again. And also I'm definitely like gonna wear the boots that you got me with this outfit today. I like wear those all the freaking time. They're the best. They look so good with almost everything and I just love it. Thank you so much. All right, y'all, yeah, we are headed to the Mall of America today. It is time to use Nico's birthday Benny Hanna coupon, which if you guys are not signed up for their birthday coupon thing, I don't know what you're doing because literally I've been doing this for like the last 10 years and I pretty much get everybody I know to also sign up and do it. But on your birthday every year, if you sign up through this thing called like the chef's table on Benny Hanna's website, during your birthday month, they'll send you a coupon for like a $30 off your meal kind of thing as long as you go with somebody else and they buy a meal. So it's basically like $30 of free food. Um, and then yeah, you just kind of get to have a nice little fun time. So if you're not doing that, you should. My sister made me do it like literally 11 years ago and I have done it ever since. And then obviously me and Nico both get one. Like Nico gets his in April and I get mine in May. So then we get to go like two months in a row. It's super fun. But also I need to get some makeup today. So we're gonna do that. Probably go to Sephora and Ulta. It's pretty much the only reason I ever like need to go to the mall when we do. So doing that, um, our reservation is at like 6.45 and it's like 3.30 right now. So just do a little shopping and then have our dinner and then hopefully go home and clean the house a little bit. Cause we had a whatnot sale last night and I also need to ship all of that and get it shipped like before our next show, which is tomorrow. So lots to do, but yeah, gonna be fun. Be there very shortly. Yeah. having a good day. You're buying my stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll add it to my big wad of cash in my pocket. That's fun. <laughs> Is it suction cup? Yeah. Oh my god. That's cute. Hang them off of anything? Yeah. That's cute.
child. We've got pens. Oh. They're cute and they're three dollars. Oh, mama. Oops. Whoa. What happened? It ripped it right out of its package. Hello, Carol. Yeah. What about this guy? Oh. What is that? An eraser or something? Oh, look at really cool even. Ooh. Baby. Sumiko <sighs> Gurashi notepad. Oh. <laughs> look. Oh my God. Is this where it all came from? Oh. Yes. Puppy stickers. All the water bottles. Who is this for? Anybody that'll buy it. <laughs> These are so silly. That's what is like that cute. even? Decorate Sorry. your own wooden character. Jeez. Yeah, it's like, what do you do with this? You just put them around your nursery. <laughs> paint your own nesting dolls. That's kind of fun. Ooh, paint your own jewelry dish. See, now that's useful. Frieza? He should. Yeah. He's scary. We've got uh, Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, got trunks. He's cool. <laughs> oh my god. There's so much to see. That's fun. It's silly. <laughs> Whoa, she's a watermelon. She's mm -hmm. fruits? She's fruits. Just like your squishies. Yeah. It's a trucker hat. Put it on. Oh yeah, it's a vibe. Goes with the green, honestly. Look this. Look how freaking cute oh. that is. Good lord. Now that is weird. What fun. I remember we had one of those at my grandpa's house, but it definitely wasn't Hello Kitty. Lots of fun. So Karomis are so cute. The Jigglypuff.
up there. Hello, y'all. We just got back from the mall, so that means it's haul time. I got tons and tons of goodies. First place we went was Sephora. I kind of condensed a lot of my bags today, so things are kind of all over the place. But also, when we were in Lululemon Fuel Space, obviously we grabbed these new Alani News, which we've never seen before. This one Nico got, the peach flavor. And then I got this one, which is Kiwi Guava. The colors on it really attracted me. Um, I am kind of a fan of kiwi flavored things usually. Guava, it kind of depends. So we'll see what happens. But obviously, as you guys know, it was the guava juiced rock star energy drink that I used to be freaking obsessed with when I was a teenager. So hopefully it tastes really good. Fingers crossed. Um, when we went into Sephora, I was looking for a new eyeshadow palette and this is what I ended up landing on because I pretty much only wear browns. So I was looking for just like a different palette basically than what I already have because a lot of the ones I use on that one I've been using them so much that they're either almost gone or I'm just kind of like bored with it so the colors on this one are really really pretty and it looks like a lot of them I'll want to use because there's a lot of various shades of brown and some of them are sparkly and some of them aren't so you know mm, it does smell pretty good yeah yeah smell it yeah it's supposed to smell like chocolate. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I also got this Moondust eyeshadow from Urban Decay, which I, I went in there asking them if they had any loose highlighters to do this little inner corner thing that I do because now both of the ones that I used to buy, they literally don't make them anymore. And they literally had pretty much nothing to show me when I asked for a loose highlighter. They were like, oh, if you want to make a highlighter loose, like all you really need is a toothpick. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and then That's they what she was saying. Yeah, and then they showed me a bunch of highlighters that are nowhere near this color, which I, I pointed at this and I was like, I want it to look like this. And she showed me a bunch that were basically like tan skin colored ones, which I'm like, that's so far from what I'm going for that eventually I just ended up seeing this and I was like, this is probably close. I'll try to report back and let y'all know. But the ones that I used to use were just so perfect. And now I literally, like I have to pound the one that I use to do this to get anything out of it. And it's kind of low key tragic. So here's hoping, but it seems promising at the very least. So that's what we got in Sephora. And then they were out of my primer at Sephora. So we had to go to Nordstrom, but it's kind of cool that we did. This is obviously the primer that I use. I've been using it for freaking ever. It's the YSL blur primer with the gold. It's so gorgeous and it works amazingly. I mix it with my foundation and then apply it that way. It's the bomb. So we went to Nordstrom and got that and then they gave me some free samples. They gave me like this little YSL serum thing and they also gave me this mascara. So that'll be fun because I've never tried those before. Then we went to Ulta and in Ulta I haven't had this dry shampoo for a while but it is my favorite the bumble and bumble it's just like extremely fine which i really like it doesn't like build up in your hair as bad as some other ones do and then i needed some more eyelash glue so i got the duo one with the green that one works the best and then this is the eyeliner that i always use because it is so precise and it really does exactly what you need it to do it's the mac brush stroke so I got all of that. And then we also went into Spencer's briefly and I found these little varsity socks in green and white, which if you guys saw, I was wearing literally a jacket that exactly matches this even today. And I have a ton of things that this would match, including like one of my Ed Hardy hoodies and like that little two piece set that I wore during the Y2K edit. And I also bought the black and white pair because obviously like this would match with a lot of stuff too. But I feel like I say this all the time, but I'm I'm very into like the varsity kind of like Y2K style right now with cute little, you know, numbers and like stripes and stuff. So I thought these would be the perfect accessory to go with those kind of fits. We went to the five below and a lot of this stuff, honestly, I'm not keeping, but I am going to sell it on whatnot. So this is a little far in advance right now, but it probably won't be by the time this video is out. So there's going to be a Hello Kitty themed raid train on May 30th that um, Heavenly Thrift asked me to be a part of. So like I said last time during the 420 raid train, I love a good theme. So here we go again, another theme. I am stoked about this one, obviously, because huge Hello Kitty fan, always have been. What could be better than like a live all day long with a bunch of different sellers where it's all Hello Kitty giveaways, Hello Kitty sales, just selling 
stuff really fast paced during 20 minutes. So a lot of this will just be like available during the sale because not everybody has access to like five belows. So I figured it would be fun to just kind of like, you know, buy up a couple things. They're like cheap enough that like some of it I'll give away and some of it it'll be available. But the first thing is this Gudetama trucker hat, which is so freaking cute. As you guys saw me try it on, I don't know what it actually looks like because I never saw. I love a good trucker hat. I mean, it's pretty cute. Like, I wish they had like a bunch of different characters, honestly, because like, how fun would that be? But yeah, this will be available. And yeah, if you guys aren't on Whatnot yet, literally, I know I sound like a broken record, but you're seriously missing out if you're not on there. So if you're not, just go to the link in my description and you can get $15 off your first purchase. But even better than that, if you sign up and use my code, You'll not only get that, but you'll be eligible to win like 10 different Hello Kitty giveaways on May 30th. Like what could be better than that? So seriously, get on there. I got two of these water bottles and my plan with these is that I will sell one and I will give one away. And they're so cute. They're kind of like you color them in, but yeah, I thought it would be good to give one away and then I'll give somebody else a chance to just buy the other one and then people can decide what, you know, they want to pay for it basically. I'll start it at what I paid for it, which is $5 and then, you know, if it gets bit up, it gets bit up. But I thought that would be a good thing to grab because it's it's kind of like one of those things where it seems like it would be more than $5. Like, it's a freaking water bottle. And it's really cool. So I'm like, well, that seems worth getting. And then I also found these pens. And look how cute these freaking pens are. So I'm not really sure yet if I want to either like give one of these away or put it in the buy it now section. I'm not really sure. I have so much stuff. Like, I can't wait to like lay everything out on the ground and just like see what it even all is because i've been making this big hello kitty bag now of stuff that i'm saving for this sale and it's gonna be an epic so i can't wait i also got this which i deemed like cute enough to get for five dollars it's like a paint your own jewelry tray i feel like the example even is like kind of wonky <laughs> so hopefully whoever if they want this and get it they do a really good job Otherwise it could turn out really crazy, I feel like. But it's cute, it was only five bucks. And again, I'm like, this would be a great giveaway thing for sure. Or somebody might just wanna buy it, so we'll see. And then last but not least, I got one of these for me to keep and I got one also to either sell or give away. Cause like I said, I haven't really looked at everything yet. So I don't know. I don't really know what the situation is <laughs> cause here I am probably gonna be like, oh, I wanna give that away. But then there's like way too much to give away. So, but I'll probably do kind of like I did during the 421 where there'll be like a main giveaway and then there'll be like a couple buyer appreciation ones. Cause I feel like that's always fun. And then I don't have to pay as much for shipping either when I do a buyer appreciation one. But these Hello Kitty socks are so cute because it's like her as a bunch of different fruits. I love that. So I always need socks. I feel like, you know, socks just like shrink, disappear, get nasty. So it's like, I may as well get some more socks cause why the hell not? They're only $5. So yeah, literally get on whatnot before May 30th. If, if you're a Hello Kitty lover, like pretty much everybody is cause that's gonna be a super fun day. And then everything else I pretty much got um, was from Abisu. So we got these shrimp chips. Hey Meiji. And she wants a shrimp chip. I don't think you should have a shrimp chip, probably. You look sad now. <laughs> oh, <Michi>. <laughs> Sorry, Michi. It's okay, Michi. They're air puffed. They're air puffed. Yeah, I hate when potato chips, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, see how like thick this thing looks? It's like, I like kettle chips. And, and I always hope when I buy chips like this that it's gonna be like a crispy ass potato chip. So honestly, these are like fine, but they're not great. I don't really recommend it necessarily, but I did eat like half of it already, thankfully, because when I put them in the bag, Nico was like, are you gonna eat those? Uh, <laughs> so at least I ate half already. Nico got these. I'm excited. Are they steak flavored chips? I don't know. I really don't know. It looks like it. They look good. Oh my God, all the mammals are swarming. Those ones that you like the pretz, so. Yeah. <laughs> we got melon Kit Kats. I actually mm -hmm. want to try one of these right now. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, let's try. Let's rate it. When me and Nico were in Japan, we literally, I think, bought like every single Kit Kat flavor they had. Gee. And there was Respect. there was like eight or ten different flavors that I got when we were there. And I got so excited because I thought today there was the sake flavor. It's like the sake, like cherry blossom kind of like combo flavor they used to have. But it was like, what was it? It was like mochi or something. It was like an ice cream kind of thing. Smells good. Cheers. I love money. Mm. That's pretty melony. I think it's getting better the more I eat it though. Yeah, it's good. Those are pretty good. Is it my favorite thing on earth? No, but it's good. I'd give it a solid seven. Yeah. 
Maybe? No. It's hard to say. It'd be easier, yeah, if it was like a full size. Yeah, I'd give it a six or a seven. It it's, is melony, yeah. It's I like, can. the first taste is very melony, and then it gets a little more like cream flavored. I mean, hell, from, they nailed the melon flavor. They really so, I mean, did. It's giving cantaloupe for sure. If you're into cantaloupe, not a bad buy. I also found these cookies of Sumiko Gurashi, which I literally have only just begun finding these creatures. And they literally had so much today in Ibisu that it was like blowing our minds. Because obviously in that haul that I showed you guys in this same video, that's like the first time we've ever like seen these guys. And now it's everywhere. But yeah, everybody and whatnot's loving it. So my plan with these is that we'll probably like rip off the bottom one and then eat them. And then I'll probably give a couple away. We also got these Hello Kitty band-aids for the Hello Kitty raid train, which one of them I'm gonna keep. And then the other one I'm going to, again, either sell or give away. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this one cause this is the kind I had last time and I think they're really cute, but these ones are pink. So it's kind of a toss up. But here's the styles, what they look like. They're both really cute, so it's a win-win either way. I'm also probably going to give these away or something. I definitely won't like sell these, I guess. So yeah, this will probably just like include in one of the giveaways, but I just thought it was cute as little chocolate treats. And then we got Jagby's because these are a classic. They taste amazing. This is like the most iconic Japanese treat, honestly. And then we got this, which hopefully they're good because there's five in here. I think it's egg flavored ramen, but it looks really yummy in my opinion. And I like that little character off to the side there. They're doing a good job selling it to me, this package. And I feel like lately, honestly, like I've been craving ramen, but like I don't want the ones that we have. So I was like, this looks good to me. I don't know. So let's try it too. But yeah, that's everything. It doesn't look like a lot once I get it all out. <laughs> Showed it all off? I did. Well, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna go. I can't believe I still have all of that shit over there to pack up too, but I'm just gonna lay down and then um, deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> tonight. I don't Natural. know. But yeah, it was a fun day. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.